Ani and Buju band members. Today is Monday, October 18th. Mille Lacs Reservation band member cases for positive COVID, District 1 and District 2A. We are now up to 160, one new case. District 2, 14, no new cases. In District 3, 41, no new cases. Circle of Health has announced that Medicare open enrollment has begun October 15th, 2021 to December 7th, 2021. And coverage will start on January 1st, 2022. During open enrollment, you can enroll in the Medicare Part D prescription drug plan. Switch your original Medicare or your Medicare Advantage plan. You can switch your Medicare Part D prescription drug plan. And for more information, please contact the Circle Health Benefits Coordinator. And those individuals are Amber Benjamin Door, 320-532-8932. Shelly Day, 320-532-1759. And Ann Mitchell, 320-532-8929. Also from Circle Health, beginning November, the Social Security Administration begins to mail out the new 2022 Social Security Benefit Letter. Please send or bring a copy to Circle of Health. You will need this information for 2022 Medicare premium reimbursement. Flu shots are available and they are available in District 1 on Wednesday the 27th from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. District 2, Thursday the 28th from 8.30 to 4 p.m. And um, District 3, Tuesday, 26 from 8 30 to 4 p.m and please call the client access team to schedule your appointment 320-532-4163 a reminder regarding the photo contest and again the photos will be used in a calendar for 2022 and we will need 12 photos 12 winners and each winner will receive a $200 stipend for your winning entry. So please, if you have any cool photos, please send those in by November 4th. And you can submit the photos, news at malaxband.com. And there are job fairs today, and that is at District 1 from 2 to 5 p.m. Tomorrow it's in District 2, and that's from 3 to 6 p.m. And at Hinkley, it is at the uh, Mashakwa Center from 3 to 6 p.m. Staff from Human Services and various departments will be on hand. Our Secretary Treasurer Sheldon Boyd and myself attended a Senator Tina Smith event on Friday. And uh, the event was held at uh, Awamni, and that is by owner and head chef, Sean Sherman. And so there were about 30 of us there, and it was pretty cool. The chef, um, Sean Sherman, explained each of the courses of the meals, where the food came from, and um, how it was prepared. And he does not use anything that was brought from the Europeans. So there's no beef, there's no pork, there is no flour, there is no processed sugar. So we had a meal of bison and um, some mussels that was in um, corn that was into a soup. It was pretty, pretty cool. And we got to hear updates from our Senator Tina Smith. And um, I had the opportunity to sit next to her. So I had her ear and to talk about events 
and issues that impact the Mille Lacs band. So I was thankful for the invitation and Ken Martin, who is the head of the Democratic Party here in Minnesota, um, sent me the invitation. So I'm thankful for that. Also today I attended the governor's um, economic impact during our crisis. And I was on a panel, talked about what has happened at Mille Lacs, what we need here and um, talking about ARPA funds and strategic planning and the importance of making sure that we utilize any funding that we've received for the future today and making sure that we're stabilized. With that, I'd like to say good day. Enjoy this beautiful fall day and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech. <laughs>